Welcome back guys, in this video we will discuss about some file viewing commands and file compression commands. So let's get started with file viewing commands. So, so far we have used the cat command to view the contents of a file. However, if the file is bigger than 24 lines then the matter would naturally scroll, scroll off the screen. As you can see from here, cat, I just cat this file, cat sample. Okay, so I need to go to desktop directory, desktop and then cat. And as you can see, we need to scroll down and up. So that's, uh, this is the main disadvantage of cat. If we want to stop the scrolling, we can do so by hitting the pause key and resume it by hitting any other key. This of course needs a bit of practice, otherwise the matter scrolls off the screen before you can reach for the pause key. And as you can see, I it uh, it happens with the blink of an eye so you can't do this pause key and all that stuff uh, again and again so to exercise a tighter control over the way we can view files we can view files unix provides several utilities out of these the head and tail commands helps in viewing the lines at the beginning or at the end of the file respectively Unless other specified, the head command assumes that you want to display first 10 lines in the file. Should you decide to view first 15 lines, you simply have to say head and then minus 15 for first 15 lines and then sample. Sample. And the top 15 lines have been displayed here. Got it? You can check it from here. this latest news from the linux blog blah 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 15 lines have been reported here in the terminal okay and the tail command is the counterpart of head and by default it displays the last 10 lines in the file so just type tail and file name sample and as you can see the 10 lines have been displayed the last 10 lines by default i have not specified the uh, what number or how many lines I want to display so you can do that with this tail minus 3 and then sample uh, no tails oh I spell it wrong tail minus 3 sample and the last 3 comments the last 3 lines have been displayed the last three lines as you can see here okay the disadvantage of head and tail is that they cannot display a range of lines moreover what is displayed is final as you can see here this is final that is if we have displayed the first three lines in a file we cannot move back and view say the tenth line so unix provides two commands which offer more flexibility in viewing files these are pg and more pg and more they more or less work in the same manner except for a few minor differences each of them helps you view a file page by page with lots of useful options so first i will discuss pg or page command so just type what i am typing pg this this blah 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 and then file name sample Okay, so I will explain you what it does. This command start displaying the contents of go of sample file here. 15 lines at a time because I have specified 15. Minus 15 stands for 15 lines at a time from 10th line onwards. Got it now? And when I click, when I press enter and as you can see from the 10th line, we will just make a check. from the 10th line this is the 10th line and 15 lines one by one it will display us so just press enter for the next next page press enter for the next set of 15 lines for the next set of 15 lines again press enter and it says end of file press again enter and it will exit cool the one more option with pg is 
you can specify this minus p then page number percentage d and then space okay so instead of displaying semicolons okay i will just press enter and you will know what has been going on what is going on here you can see page number two so the command have been prompt the command have been prompted with page number as i have specified here page number and percentage d specify the specific page okay with minus p option by default you may have been noticed that uh, instead of this there was semicolon and again just press enter for the next 15 lines for next 15 lines again enter and i will show you the default one as you can see here the semicolon okay let us now look at the example of more command more then again plus 10 minus 15 and then file name was sample and this command too would bring about more or less the same effect as the one that we used with the pg okay the difference being it would display the contents uh, the difference is only this uh, it will show you that it indicates at uh, and it indicates this number indicates how much percentage of file we have viewed so far so it says 68 percent you have viewed so far then press enter 74 percent and 80 percent and 85 88 99 92 and so on i'm pressing enter 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 again and exit one more option that i would like to discuss with more command is minus d actually minus s option also minus s first what it does the minus s option would squeeze multiple blank lines in a file to a single blank line this helps in maximizing the useful information displayed on the screen especially when you know that a file contains several successive blank lines here i have several uh, blank lines multiple blank lines it will squeeze to these blank lines to a single space blank line as you when i press enter and you can see here okay so just yeah as you can see powered by google and in between there was multiple of lines multiple of blank lines and it now reduced to single line so this is the advantage of minus c option minus s option sorry and minus d option what it does the minus d option changes the normal more prompt more prompt prompt displayed at the end of each page to a more explanatory that is i will show you the first one was there you may have observed that there was more prompt here at the end of the each page so now minus d option and now you can see here it says it is more explanatory to the user and user friendly so minus d option provide this option so it says press space to continue q to quit press space space and that's it okay so this is about pg and more the main difference the most obvious difference between pg and more is pg permits you to set the prompt as we have saw it earlier page number that we have discussed whereas more doesn't prom uh, more doesn't permits you to set the prompt also while using more at the end of each page a number appears which indicates how much percentage of the file we have viewed so far as i told you earlier now comes down to comp file compression commands the utilities offered by the unix are compress and pack these are the most famous one compress command okay so now i want to compress this file so i would say something like this compress file name and with the minus v option okay so i will tell you what it does minus v the minus v option tells compress to report how much space it saved so just press enter and it says 30.21 percent have been saved 
30.21 percentage of space of size space have been saved here and as you can see here the original file that is sample is replaced by another which has the same name with dot z extension added to it okay sometimes it may so happen that the contents of the file are such that on compression no saving in disk space is likely to occur in such case the in such case the compress utility informs you so and does not create a dot z file in such an event for example i would create an empty file touch sample 2 and if i compress this file it says no compression unchanged because of the same fact that i have discussed earlier okay to get the compressed file back to its original state we can use the uncompress option like this uncompress just type uncompress minus v sample and hit enter and it says the sample have been changed to original one okay cool so this is about compress and uncompress the main logic behind this is the main concept behind this uh, on uncompress it what it does it simply delete the dot z file that was created and the original file is recreated back in its original form and shape okay remember that once a file has been compressed we cannot view it using the normal cat command Unix provides a utility called zcat for this purpose. I will show you by an example. I will again compress this file. Compress minus v sample and there it is sample. Okay. So if I do cat sorry cat sample dot z and as you can see this is the format in unreadable format. unreadable form and you can't read it using the simple cat command instead unix provides a utility called zcat for this purpose it display is it displays an uncompressed version of compressed file to the terminal without changing the compressed file or storing the uncompressed version in a file this is the in fact most important and cool thing about unix zcat and the compressed file sample.z and as you can see without storing the original file or uncompressing the file to a back to its original form it just displays the contents of the file okay using zcat in compressed form like compress pack is also able to compact a file but it uses a different compression scheme just i want to clear things and i will just come uncompress the sample file uncompress okay done now we were discussing about pack command pack it is also able to compact a file but it uses a different compression scheme uh its syntax is pack then input file that is sample and then output file okay so maybe Mm, compressed sample file cool and hit enter and it says packing sample into this and you can say this is the compressed version of sample file cool and as you can see 74% this is the this is not the degree of compression okay i will tell you when i compress this file compress this is the degree of compression that is it saves this much of person it saves this much of memory 30.21% and if we minus 100 if we just subtract 100 from if we just subtract 74 from 100 we can get the file compression degree for you are by using pack command and it will give you as approx 100 minus 74 would give you 26 right yeah 26% and it gives us 30.21% so this time the degree of compression is smaller 
this time that is pack using pack the degree of compression is obviously smaller because it's 26 percent and it is 30.21 percent the pack contents are stored in this file the new one that we have created here okay so uh, the degree of compression is much good in compress command while using with pack command okay so this is preferable compress command okay so we were discussing pack command and it says input size and output size and blah 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 so here it is the compressed file and we can yeah the last thing i would like to share is how to unpack this file this file pack you then input file name i want to unpack this file compressed sample file to uncompressed sample file hit enter and this is the uncompressed file and this file and this file must be same and we can check it just double click on it and you can see here this is the same file as sample 2 not sample 2 sample sorry because the sample was the original one right we can even cat this file to check zcat sample 2 unexpected end of what oh sorry it's sample dot z right and this file and this file is the same so this is it for this video hope you like this video yeah the one command i would like to discuss one more command is man okay the unix manual is possibly the best thing that has happened to the unix world it provides online help about every single unix command with all the options that the command can run using this man command okay to invoke the manual just type the man along with the command you wish to seek help on suppose i would like to uh, see the different options available with cd so simply just say man stands for manual and then cd and hit enter no manual entry for cd okay it just says this no problem man ls okay so it reports all the manual about the ls and you can see all these things press h for help and uh, i'm just typing enter here and uh, just to quit it type q you can even search for other commands like pwd okay so i have a question for you go search or run it will this work or give an error man man okay so try to find the answer and yeah this is it for this video hope you like this video please give a thumbs up please rate comment and subscribe and please give a thumbs up because it makes me happy haha <laughs> so till then happy coding and bye bye